Um, people who want to record this, people can't make it and ask me to film it for them. I really like it because for, I've been asked by people to film, they want to see what happens. Mm. I'd appreciate it if we left it on if that's so. Could I, could I, I don't want to be rude, but could I please ask if I can film? I've been asked by people who can't make it to film me. No, I don't see the. Turn it off, do you think, yeah? No, don't turn it off. We'll just switch it off. Just read it out. Just read it out. Oh, it's it's so the Dean of the University of Lincoln, a declaration of concern expressed by the students of Paul's School of Art and Design. We consider you have been thoroughly discourteous to tutors, staff, and students. Therefore, the students have unanimously passed a vote of no confidence in you and your advisory group. As we have not been consulted about this review of the fine art course, Consider this neither the time nor the place for such a presentation. Your proposal to make such a destructive change halfway through the course without proper consultation is totally unacceptable. Consequently, our requirements are as follows. One, the course continues in its present form in whole as originally promised. Two, proposed redundancies of tutors and staff be immediately suspended. Three, prove that our money is being properly spent on our education. Four, our course be properly funded and maintained. We request assurance on points one and two in writing within one week. We request you allow sufficient time to seek proper legal advice on our position before any radical alteration to our course is made. A failure to address our concerns and requests will underline our lack of confidence in you and we call for your, your and your advisory groups of resignation. The fine arts student body, November the 15th, 2002. Oh, when they've when they've left, I'll I'll turn it off. I just want to film this. I'm not filming what you're saying. I'm filming this. Students took to the streets of Hull today their protest. They say that university bosses are taking the art out of their art course. 100 students from the University of Lincoln's Fine Art degree met with the management but walked out after registering a vote of no confidence. Protests by students are not common nowadays, but these fine arts students are angry. They've been told their course is to change and that painting and sculpture will no longer be part of the course. They're just devaluing the course that we're doing because of the way they're actually taking it apart whilst we're actually completing our degree. At 78, John is the oldest student on the course, but he's no less passionate about the change that will see an end to the teaching of drawing and painting in Hull. A town of this size, with all its uh, supposed aspirations, 
uh, really shouldn't sacrifice culture for cash, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, this is what it's all about, culture versus cash. Fine art is an expensive course. The plan is to make 12 out of 13 tutors redundant, and those in their second year of study will miss out. The University of Lincoln refused to comment on the protest, but said the reduction in the number of those wanting to study fine art is the reason they're changing the course. The students say they won't give up without a fight and intend to take legal advice about a change to a course they've paid for. Liz Meach, BBC Look North, Hull. Well, it's time now for our regular look at the uh, region's papers. Oh, send me, send me, send me from this Hi, sorry, can you not do that? Because <laughs> Tom, that chap over there, give him a fly. It's a management who are in qualified. Round of applause. Oh, I'm ringing. I've got a friend, I've got a friend. 